is Pakistan International Container Terminal. We are a subsidiary of uh, ICTSI Group of Company based in the Philippines. And we have invested over here uh, in Pakistan so that uh, we can move boxes which is coming to all over the globe. PICT is working as a hub of uh, for promoting Pakistan business all over the world. We are moving containers, uh, export containers outside this uh, country and bringing in uh, impound containers into the country through this terminal. Well, uh, last year we have handled uh, more than 750,000 boxes uh, in India. Uh, and we are looking forward to have more or less the same figure this year as well. PICT, uh, what core function of PICT is that we just pick up the container from the vessel and uh, load it on the truck and move the container again from the truck to the vessel. That is a noun and outbound uh, function. In, in shorter term, this is what we normally do. What other function we perform is we are just giving facilitation to all uh, the trades, uh, including Taiwan trade, Pakistan trade, and all the country which are bringing in their volume over here and all the main lines, uh, international lines who are bringing in the volume in Pakistan. We're helping uh, uh, boosting Pakistan economy by giving uh, relaxation and discounts and uh, various other options to the trade and industry of uh, Pakistan as well as uh, other countries. Uh, to support a one transit since uh, this initiative has been taken by the government of Pakistan that uh, we are going to handle a one transit cargo and the cargo we are going to move via Pakistan. So we are supporting a uh, one transit by giving them 14 additional uh, free days inside the terminal which is helping them uh, in getting out of their cargo release in a timely manner. We are helping a one transit by giving them fast scanning uh, process and we are helping a one transit trade uh, through you know storing their boxes until or unless their whole shipment is cleared by Pakistan customs. Well, uh, as far as scanning is concerned, we already explained in our presentation that uh, our, we have one scanner available, ready available over here. And sometimes these complaints were just lame excuses by the transporter because they don't have uh, trucks available and they just accuse us that we are not scanning or whatever. Uh, whenever our scanner stops or gives an error or any problem, we have a proper log directly towards our engineering department and our, we have a complete engineering department to identify and rectify the problems then and there. <laughs> so as such there is uh, no issue as far as scanning is concerned. Yes, maybe sometime it does, uh, it may happen that uh, if all of a sudden 1000 or 2000 boxes just uh, you know, discharge from the vessel and everybody want their boxes to be you know, scanned on immediate basis, that is not possible. We have a queue and we go in systematic uh, queue and uh, that systematic queue is you know giving time on every vessel. Well, uh, we are handling almost uh, 120 percent of our actual capacity. We are very famous in handling NBOCC volumes in uh, Pakistan. We are the only terminal who have uh, maximum volume of uh, non-vessel operator container carriers. So. Basically, what we do is we just give facilitation and uh, around the clock services, which other terminals, I guess, uh, not giving that much of uh, ease to the customer. We always look forward to give ease to the uh, to give ease to the trade and industry so that uh, they can do business uh, properly with us. We have proper customer care desk, which is available 24/7. We have a mission team. We have engineers who are just supporting each and every single box and handling the volume over here. As far as comparing with other terminals is concerned, uh, the other terminals don't uh, even reach 100% of the capacity where we are uh, you know, exceeding it. Although we have a small covered area and uh, very less equipment as compared to other terminals.